High Rising, Ty Rising, family, Eternal Rising. How's everyone doing? Give me a second for this live to tap in. I don't have much battery, but I do want to show y'all uh, the abundance of black seed grape we have here in Honduras. This is what I'm talking about. Like, but these are the seedless ones, but all these right here, you know, you got the seedless ones, but even these don't have uh, a number on them. All these right here are very dark and seeded. I really don't like the red ones. The red ones are cool too, but I really love these real dark ones. I'll be looking through, I'll be looking through trying to get the darkest one we can. So I'm gonna give y'all some color codes as everybody tunes in. So I'm just showing y'all the abundance of black city grapes here in Honduras. And it's like rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of black city grapes. And that's a really thing for you to be eating if you're trying to heal, grow, and thrive and be your best because um, it's not a lot of uh, what you would say purple fruits that are that tasty and they have a lot of water. And that's what it's about is that, you know, when you're talking about purple, you're talking about the crown area, the, uh, the highest vibration that you have up in the crown. And so you want to add that purple. And I'm going to show y'all how to color code this real quick. After I get some more people to tune in, what's going on, Christy? What's going on, Mitra, if I'm saying that right? J Jahari, what's going on, Thomas L? This is just how the stores look here in Honduras. I don't have much, I don't have much. You can see like all these vegetables, they don't have, they don't have the number tags on them. There's no number tags, anything on the food. So over here, well, they do have imported food. So all the imported stuff that says like US, usually have like the tags on them. But the stuff that comes from here in Honduras, you'll see, it grows here locally and it looks like it grows from the tree. Like these come straight from the tree, I know, because um, I be walking, it's, it's about thousands and thousands of mangoes trees here in Honduras. And so it's actually called Mango River, where I, um, in Sambo, where I stay. It's like we stay by a river called Mango River. And it's literally every street you turn on, there's like 10 mango trees. I mean, I swear, like, it's, it's mango trees everywhere in Honduras. And so uh, the fruits that the states, you see, they have the, the tags on. You see, they go with the numbers. Anything that comes from the state, you see, they got the dough there. But anything, so they got it available for you. But you see, it's really, nobody really, I swear, nobody comes and they really grab this. They always grab the organic stuff over here, the stuff without labels. So they're not really grabbing too much of this right here, but when it comes down to the green bananas and these type of foods, then we got the uh, red leaf lettuce right here. You can see how fresh and how purple the red leaf lettuce actually is. And so um, this is just how like I said here in the tropics where everything grows. And there are so many farmers and gardeners and people tending to the land and, and trying their best from uh, where they are in their growth to love the land. You know, you get a lot more uh, fresher foods and the uh, soil is very rich here because of the cow population and also them, um, the, the coconuts, the bananas. You got to understand the more fruit you have, the more animals you have, the more that uh, soil they're going to produce. So meaning that when, the, when, the, when you eat the mango and you throw it or it's a half-eaten mango by an animal, all this stuff becomes new soil and it keeps the soil rich. So when you don't have a lot of fruit trees, a lot of animals, a lot of things that give back to the soil around you, then your soil is not rich. And this is why a lot of people uh, feel like they're getting uh, sick when they go vegan, if they're not eating a lot of, like you have to really, especially in the States, you have to really make sure you're eating your nuts, your avocados and those foods that's gonna give you that complete fat so your body can break, break, down, that, uh, break down those molecules and give you that simple, car, that simple carbon, that iron that you need because most of the high water fruits, they will be missing it because they're not, they're not trying to hold on to fat and fat holds a lot of uh, that, that density, those dense atoms, those dense minerals. And so that's what that's about. And so uh, I'm in uh, Sambo, I'm in uh, La Ceiba, Honduras. And so quick, uh, so quick listen on color code. So uh, real quick, as you see here, you have your reds, you got red, you got green. Um, we're gonna go over the oranges, where the oranges at? Where the oranges, they even have oranges here. Even the uh, mangoes work for orange. You got your orange, and I'm gonna go over the colors and what they mean and why it's important. Every color of the rainbow. So what it is that red is your root chakra. So red, when you're talking about red, we're talking about red. Everything has been color coded. And I'm trying to do this fast because I don't have much battery. And I just, you know, the spirits took over me and told me this. Let's give a quick live while we at the ghost store and talk about the energy of the food. And so red is the root chakra. It's for grounding. It's to connect to your earth. It's good for your physical body. It's good for uh, uh, for iron. It's good for uh, uh, because it has iron, it has electro, a lot of electromagnetic energy, so it's good for you manifesting. So if you're having problems with money, if you're having problems with your finances, if you're having problems with your bones, if you're having problems 
any physical problems with manifesting anything, whether it's uh, your body or outside of yourself, such as your career, you want to eat some, make sure you get some red in in the morning, make sure you make your red smoothie, like you can take you some strawberries, some apples, and you can just, whatever you can find, there's red, uh, red grapes, you can take those and you can make like a red smoothie and that'll power up your root chakra and help you feel more secure and safe on earth. Because that's what it is, is that when you're worrying, you don't have no faith in the earth, you don't have no faith in the most high, knows that you're here and need help. So you need to eat some red, all right? So now, we're gonna go over next, orange. As we go up, orange, okay? Orange is moon energy, this is the water. And so when you eat water, so orange is more like for your blood. If you're having problems with your, um, with hydration, you wanna make sure you get orange. It's gonna help you hydrate better, it's gonna help your body absorb more water. Um, also, it connects you to moon energy, which is also manifesting energy. It, it connects you to the oceans and river. It helps things flow, so if you have blockages in your body, if you have a lot of pimples, you need to eat orange, orange colors, because that's what it is. A pimple is just a blocked energy where the liquid cannot flow out. So we need to eat orange. That's what orange is about. Okay, and this, like I said, this is quick. My phone's gonna die. Next, I'm gonna go to yellow, yellow fruits. So this is a yellow apple, which is kind of cool. But I, you, but okay, we use bell pepper. That's better. Bell pepper. Y'all like bell pepper? These are great. So yellow. This is the frequency of the sun. This is fire. This is your passion. This is your desire. This is your courage. If you, if you're scared, if you fear, if you're not brave, if you, um, if you envy others. If you, don't have, if, you, if you don't have the belief in yourself or know where you are, you feel that loss, you don't have that desire to be and express your light, that's the sun. You need to eat yellow so you can express light. So you need to make sure you're having your, uh, this is where you come to your limits. They're not that alkaline, but they will alkaline in the body. Um, as long as you're eating, as long as you're having a 90, 80 to 100% alkaline body, your body's gonna stay alkaline if you're eating raw fruits and vegetables. Okay, so again, like I say, yellow is fire, is passion, your desire, your bravery, your courage. Um, if you're blocked in yellow, it's because you're know, feeling guilty, feeling ashamed, you need to eat more yellow. You see, everything is frequency, and whatever you put into the portal of your body is what's going to expand your mind. So let's go ahead and go up. Green. When you go out inside of nature, the first thing you see outside, if you're not in the concrete jungle, you should see green everywhere. You see green grass, green trees, green leaves. All these fruits go from green, and we'll just use the green apple here. And so we have green apples, green limes, green bell peppers, and the green represents the heart. If you haven't blocked and you haven't heart blockages, if you're not eating fruit, I know your heart is blocked. Because you gotta understand that when you start to have a more, when you have more love for the planet, when you have more love for other beings, more love for all of life, you're naturally gonna start to eat things that have more compassion for your body and more compassion for the other animals around you, other beings around you. This is what it means to open your heart to all life. This is why most people's third eye is closed. It's because your heart is not open to all the animals. Your heart is only open to some of the dogs, some of the cats. It's open to some of the humans. But there's over 200, 2 billion species on the planet that are being raped, tortured, enslaved of their way of life and transformation and growth. They came here to transform just like you. And so since you cannot see the planet, the waters, the air, and animals as others, then your third eye is closed and the heart will never open that third eye for you. So the heart is the key to open the third eye. So to clean up their heart, make sure you get a lot of green in. Spend time in nature around the green grasses, the green forests. Um, you got your, uh, like I said, your green peppers, your green limes, you got your green bananas. You even got green oranges that have the green skin on the outside and then the orange on the inside. So sometimes you get the two colors where you have like, you know, you have like the food is one color on the outside and one on the inside, so they carry both of those vibrations. Okay, so next we're gonna go up to purple, which is my favorite, purple grapes. And so purple grapes and uh, blueberries, purple grapes, all these will take care of the uh, higher chakras. Um, the only blue fruit that I really know of that's naturally really is like blue, blue is like uh, blueberries, but even they are kind of like a purple black. And that's because once you get up in here, this is like blue, then this is like a dark blue, and it's like dark purple. So purple carries the vibration of all three of these. That's what black is. Black carries the vibration of all vibrations, of all, carries the vibration of all colors, of all hue. And this is why the, um, you know, the argument of whether, uh, you know, black is the best or white or black. It's not about our skin tone. It's more about understanding that, you know, black is the state of being, the state of nothingness, the state of existence that where all light allows us to express. And we can see this just by looking at anybody's pupil. I don't care if you're looking at a fly, a dog, a cat, a shark, any animal that was created that has to see out of this eye, its pupil will be black because this is the state which allows all light to express. So it's about getting out of our ego and out of our envy and understanding that it's about truth 
and that truth will express to all things. It's not about jealousy. There's a, there's sharks in there as well. You can't be like, oh, I'm a whale and I want to be a shark. You just got to be like, okay, well, I'm a whale. I'm going to be the best whale I can. I'm a black person. I'm going to be the black person I can. If I was an Asian, I'm going to be the best Asian person I can. If I was a Chinese, I'd be the best. You know, it's about being the best expression you can um, and reflecting that out so that others can reflect their best to you. And so this is what having a healthy mind, a healthy heart, a healthy body is about. And this is what health truly is about because health should be the only state available to you. So let me go over this purple for my heart. So again, that purple is your crown chakra. This is good for cleansing the that's good for cleansing the brain and cleansing everything down. So what it does is that when it cleanses this, it will trickle everything down when it cleanses the mind. So it's like a cheat code to add the grapes into your diet because by only eating grapes, you get the vibration of all the other colors beneath it. So when you, that's why they say the grape fast is the highest fast because when you're eating black grapes, you're going to get the, you're going to get the dark purple, you're going to get like the blue purple, then you're going to get the blue, you're going to get the green, you're going to get the yellow, you're going to get the orange, you're going to get the red because it carries all the vibrations of all those and it carried it through the nutrients of the ground, through the tree, and that's what a tree is. A tree is a tower. A tree is also a temple like your own body, which collects energy from the most high light and love, which collects energy from the sun, the air, the waters, the earth, to produce food to nourish you. And this is why we call trees ancestors, because your ancestors should guide you, they should nourish you, they should love you. And this is what trees do. They give you breath, they give you food, they give you shelter, they give you wood to build everything you want to build. They give you plenty, and this is what an ancestor is, and this is why we call the trees the ancestors. So I hope everyone enjoyed this little lesson right here. Like I said, I, I talk kind of fast. I'm right here in the store. I need to get my black grapes and head back home, but I haven't really been doing good lives. I just got me some unlimited service here uh, for the next two days. Um, that's how they do it here. You can pay like per week or per two days to get unlimited service. So this is the things that uh, I get when I do get extra energy. And this is what it's for is that for me to be able to teach online and get Wi-Fi and stuff like this, it's not that I need so much energy, but for me to help more and shine more light, it takes me to use more of this system to do so. And so this is where the donations come from because any any priest, any pastor, any, 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 any religion understands that in order for you to truly get from your heart, you must leave out your offering plate from the temple you sign. Remember, the body is the temple, and that my donation plate is my offering plate for the services that I, that I provide since I refuse to charge from my heart. You see, because in order for me to heal and shine light, it's not like I'm, oh, I'm only going to give you my videos. I'm only going to teach. I'm only going to heal you. I'm only going to guide you. I'm only going to give you the things that I'm learning in nature and evolve. I'm only going to give you the things that help me love myself better if you pay me for them, and that's not true. You see, so what happens is that all religions understand it. In order to give your true, order to truly give, in order, in order to truly give from your heart, mind, body, and soul, in order to truly give from your temple complex, um, from the highest, from the most high, then you cannot charge anyone for your services. And this is what nomad souls like myself that are traveling in the tropics, that are eating holistic, that are living in nature, that are bringing new things like the, uh, that, that are bringing things higher understandings. Uh, for us all like the information I just gave for us to heal ourselves on every level so that we can go out and express as our best So we can go out and express the best best mind as Dylan as as, Di uh, as Dylan that just tapped in so we can go out and express the best heart as Sarah who just tapped in So we can go out and express the best body as Linda who just tapped in Marcus. Uh, I'm in uh, Honduras. I've been here about uh, seven months What I'm in Honduras. Are you saying what story? Yeah, I'm looking through the comments now. I'm in Honduras. We got I'm going one more time on my phone now. We got Rose and rows and rows of black tea grapes. So it's like, I come here and get my black tea grapes every day. I get the blackest ones I can find. And these, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these real quick and get out of here. I'm gonna be in here for a minute talking. So I'm gonna grab these. These are really black, right? See, these are kind of red. They're good, but they're not as good as the black ones. The black are better than sweet juice, I promise. So I'm looking for the, oh, these are really black too. These are really black. Oh, these are dark. You motherfuckers, that is almost tar. That's carbon. <laughs> I wouldn't even, I'm gonna get these just cause they, I wouldn't gonna get two of them, but I'm gonna get just cause these, they so damn dark. <laughs> they so, they, they said, <laughs> I was magnetically attracted to this one. I was like, no, nah, we belong in your body, Goku. So you're coming with me. And so I got these. So I got my little two grapes and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the head out. Yes, thank you very much. I'm, if I'm glowing, you're glowing. I'm doing this for all. Wait till I get back in the sun. Y'all ain't seen me glow yet. I swear the sun brings out everything. When I'm, when I'm in the sun, I shine in gold. When I'm in, the, in the, when I'm in the moon, I shine in silver. Let me grab some lettuce real quick for the goddess. Because she's going to make her a salad. So that should be fine. This should be fine. And I get right back to it. Give me one second, y'all. just want to grab me some fresh lettuce for the goddess. I've been on all fruits and mostly liquids. I pretty much only eat grapes, mangoes, 
and do urine therapy. I've been talking about urine therapy very soon. It's very important. But you should only drink it when it turns to water and when it's alkaline. I got to show you how to alkaline your urine. And this is going to heal you. This is the potion that heals you. Your alkaline urine is your potion. This is what you step in as a baby. And if, if babies are so powerful because for nine months they're sleeping in alkaline urine, which is distilled water, which is distilled light, because the only thing your body can produce is light since you are a body of energy, you are a body of light, you are a body of electricity. So I'm drinking electric water from my own body. I'm producing my own potion. I'm producing my own, my own holy water from the holy well. And I eat mushrooms from the holy shit that was made from the most high. You see? So everything, when you really connect to nature, you understand that this is... This is really like a fairy, like this is, life is really a game. This is like a fairy tale I'm living now. And that's because I submit it and I understand that this is really heaven. And I don't know why everybody chooses to live in hell. Like everybody don't convince themselves that this is hell for some reason, but this is heaven here. It's only because you have chosen the reality and you have convinced your mind that things are happening on coincidences and you're not taking control or releasing control to the most high. Either you take control of your life or release control to the most high, but do one or the other. You see what I'm saying? But having, you know, just, unconsciously letting your life just project itself has, has you where you are. And that's what you have to learn to do. You gotta learn how to either take as much control as you can over your life or lose control and let the most high light and love take over. Just leave, heart take over. Like, just fuck it, clean me up. <laughs> so that's what it's really about. So I love you all. Thanks for all the support and love those who do support and love I. And um, you know, try to make sure y'all are growing and thriving make sure you cleanse your body work every day to cleanse your temple i'm telling you you can't see it because your eyes have been built you see your eyes have been built off of your lifestyle your heart has been built off of your lifestyle your body has been built off of your lifestyle this is why it's so inspiring to see others who have made the change and you want to get there you see because you have programmed you like you are the real computer you are the real iphone and you have put the wrong apps onto your body and you need to get them off but until you get these apps off, they just on your, they just on your thing, they're running, taking up data. <laughs> so you got a whole bunch of apps on your iPhone. You got a whole bunch of apps on your, you got a whole bunch of apps on your iPhone, and you just need to take them off. And you need to start with a whole new phone, and then you need to clean up, and um, clean up, clean up the uh, software. You need to clean up the data. You need to clean up the uh, the gigabytes. You need to do everything it takes because you are the true device. You are the true technology. You are the true love and light of creation. And you came here to express the uh, the biggest heart in the world. This is why you are able to love every single species. This is why other animals' third eye are not open because there's no other animal on the planet that has, has the ability to show compassion to every tree, to every plant, to every insect, to everything in existence like we have. One second. Okay. Not just mama. So we have the ability, we have jumped in the ocean and made friends with sharks and whales. We have jumped in the sky and made friends with birds. We have jumped in the jungles and made friends with monkeys and lions. We have made friends and showed our heart to every animal, but then we have tainted our heart and started eating them. You see, so obviously these, friend, these animals are our friends and we're here to be compassionate and show the biggest mind, the healthy mind, the healthy heart, which knows that we have a choice to make. And that's to be a great gardener and a great guardian to guard the animals, to guard this planet, to guard in this planet, to guard in this realm and make this realm heaven, heaven or to kill everything, to kill the trees, to kill the planet, to kill the animals, to kill ourselves and make this realm hell. So this is the heaven and hell that we experienced. It's the heaven and hell that we were created because we were given the power of light and love, which is the highest power in creation to do what we want with it. So we want God to come and fix everything, but God is like, I've given you the power of light and love to do what the, what the fuck do you want me to do? You got light and love on your side, motherfucker. I don't gave you all the light and love in creation, and you want my help. That is my help, light and love. What are you doing with it? <laughs> what are you doing with your light and what your love is the reality you're experiencing? And this is why my reality is great. This is why my reality is bright. This is why I shine even when I don't have a dime, because my shine is my shrine. My wealth is my temple, you see? And the more of this, and so everything just happens, you know, more naturally for me. So I'm gonna do a quick story. Here I go in the sun, watch me change. Watch the glow change, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> gold hair, gold skin, out the way, gold hair, gold skin coming to, coming through. <laughs> it's Goku, it's Aries, the higher fire. The golden sun, I'm the golden carbon sun, I'm the silver white platinum moon, I'm the crystal clear diamond mine of the most high light and love of creation. I am Tarzan the carbon man, a charming man, a garden man, a guardian of the most high realm. I am a great ape of the great gates, I am a king kong gorilla, I am a magi fairy, yoga, yoga yogi, 
Buddhist monkey. I am the one key harmony of the most high I. You see? <laughs> this is what it's all about. It's about understanding who you are and what you are here to be and allowing yourself to keep flowering in life. And that's what's happening to me is that every day I am flowering to a new, body, to a new body, into a new mind, to a new soul. It's great every day to experience myself because I can't wait to see what my mind has for me. I can't wait to see what my heart has for me. I can't I wait to see what my body has for me. I can't wait to see the world around me. I can't wait to see how much I'm, how, how much I'm gonna glow more today, how much, how, how, how more cut my body is, how much cut my mind, because I know my body is, when my body is more cut, when my body is more shiny, is that I'm shining on the inside because this is the only way I can shine on the inside, on the outside. The only way I can shine on the outside is from the things that I'm doing, on, the, the inner work that I'm doing within myself. For me going inside and using my intuition, my, in, in, my intelligence, my insight, you see? For me going and being, for me go ahead and being okay with being insane to the rest of the world because my sanity is inward. So, the more you love yourself completely, the more you're going to see yourself flower into the blue, beautiful flower you are because you are a star that was designed to shine through the dark with your heart. But your heart has been tainted. Your heart has been polluted by this world and you must fix it. And once you fix your heart, the world is yours. Love yourself completely at all times. It's Goku, Aries, Ryu, the star seed, a magi, a fairy, a yogi, a yoga, a Buddhist monkey, the one key harmony of the most high eye.